నమో నమ అందరికి నమస్కారములు టుడే ఈజ్ అనదర్ గుడ్ డే ఫర్ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ దట్ వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు హ్యావ్ అనదర్ వెబినార్ ఫ్రమ్ శ్రీ పిఎస్ మూర్తి గారు వీ విల్ స్టార్ట్ ద సెషన్ విత్ వందే మాతరం అండ్ దెన్ ప్రార్థన ఆఫ్టర్ దట్ ఐ విల్ బ్రీఫ్లీ ఇంట్రడ్యూస్ హిమ్ టు ఆల్ ఆఫ్ యూ డో యూ నో హిమ్ వెల్ ఆఫ్టర్ దట్ వీ విల్ హ్యావ్ ద సెమినార్ సో వందే మాతరం వందే మాతరం సుజల సుఫల మలయజ శీతల సస్యమల మాతరం వందే మాతరం శుభ్రజోష్ణకితయామిని పుల్లకుసుమిత ద్రుమదల శోభిని సుహాసిని సుమధురభాషిని సుఖదా వరదా మాతరం వందే మాతరం వందే మాతరం వందే మాతరం నవ్ ఐ రిక్వెస్ట్ శ్యామ్ ప్రసాద్ గారు టు చాన్ ప్రార్థన ప్లీజ్ శ్రీ గురుభ్యో నమ గణానాగణపతి హవామే కవిం కవీనాపమశ్రమస్తమం జ్యేష్ఠరాజు బ్రహ్మణాం బ్రహ్మణస్పత ఆనస్రన్నోతిసాధనం ఓం శ్రీ మహాగణాధిపతయే నమ ప్రణోదేవీ సరస్వతీ వాజేర్భిర్వాజనీవతి దీనామవిత్రవతు ఓం శ్రీ మహాసరస్వత్యై నమ గురుర్వ గతి గురుమేవ భజే గురునైవ సహాస్మి నమో గురవే న గురో పరమం శిశురశ్వి గురు మతిరస్తి గురో మమ పాహి గురో జ్ఞానానందమయం దేవం నిర్మల స్ఫటికాకృతం ఆధారం సర్వ విద్యానాం హయగ్రీవముపాస్మహే శృతిస్మృతి పురాణాం ఆలయం కరుణాలయం నమామి భగవత్పాద శంకరం లోకశంకరం శంకరం శంకరాచార్యం కేశవం బాదరాయణం సూత్ర భాష్యకుటో వందే భగవంతో పునః పునః ఈశ్వరో గురురాత్మేతి మూర్తి భేద విభాగినే వ్యోమవత్పదాదేహాయ దక్షిణామూర్తయే నమః అసతో మా సద్గమయ తమసో మా జ్యోతిర్గమయ మృచోర్మా అమృతంగమయ ఓం శాంతి 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 మాతృదేవో భవ పితృదేవో భవ ఆచార్యదేవో భవ అతిథి దేవో భవ ఓం సహనావతు సహనౌనక్తు సహ వీర్యం కరవాహై తేజస్వినాభదీతమస్తు మా విద్దిషావహై ఓం శాంతి 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 ధన్యవాదములండి శ్యామ్ ప్రసాద్ గారు థ్యాంక్ యూ సార్ థ్యాంక్ యూ సో మచ్ దట్ ఈస్ introduce briefly because i know i think uh, all of you know about uh, ps murthy garu he is a joint director in the combined state of uh, andhra pradesh and he had an extension of another four years after his retirement and uh, he was in home ministry of central government at different positions and in various capacities he visited many countries like dubai singapore thailand 
Malaysia, Nepal, Japan, USA, UK, and almost all states of India for bringing mainly the investments in IT sector. What you see today in high tech city in Hyderabad, they're all the result of the efforts of uh, uh, people like, uh, especially uh, P.S. Muthikaru, who has spearheaded the, uh, that venture. In addition, uh, we got a lot of uh, acclaims and letters and certificates and foreign and also awards, merit certificates he received. And he's basically a MCOM, MBA, PG diploma in computer applications. He's a gold medalist in astrology, Jyotisha, Visharada, and silver medalist in palmistry. And he's a panel guest speaker and faculty speaker in many councils. And having served in central and state governments, he's good at uh, uh, administration for quite some time, like 42 years. He has that experience. And now, I, without you know, taking much time, uh, I request him uh, to uh, start the webinar, please. Guru Bhyo Namah. Uh, friends, uh, it's a great opportunity for me uh, to get associated with the, the VSS and uh, the VSS promoted by uh, Dr. Prabhakar Bhavgaru, then Kallal Bhavgaru, and uh, a band of other team, dedicated team for uh, promoting and propagating Sanatan Dharma. It's really an appreciable effort. Uh, in this direction, we are having webinars, weekly webinars every Saturday and Sunday. And I have been given an opportunity um, right from my association with VSS to share my knowledge and to convey what we could understand from the text available, that Smriti or Smriti, whatever we call. Uh, so I have given some four or five webinars uh, uh, so far, and this is another opportunity for me. In the previous webinar, I tried to um, talk about uh, the Mahavakyas from our uh, four Upanishads. So in continuation of that, what I thought was there are a lot of examples or small, small stories uh, given in Upanishads uh, for us to understand the tattva behind it. Because an Upanishad, it is very difficult to understand. So while going so, we will uh, try to understand uh, what those examples mean to say. And uh, in the meantime, I will open my, share my screen. Uh, and a PPT, I have uh, made a small PPT. So let us see the PPT and uh, then uh, we will uh, carry forward. So before going into uh, the main PPT, I would just, uh, Mr. Sham Prasad has made the prayer, but um, I have my own thing. So I will uh, try to do this. Vakratunda Mahakaya. Surya Kodi Samaprabha, Nirvignam Kurmi Deva, Sarvakaryesh Sarvadaha. Saraswati Namastubhyam, Varade Kamarupini, Vidyarambham Karishyami, Siddhir Bhavatu, Me Sada. Nanananda Mayan Devam, Nirmalas Patikakrutim, Adharam Sarva Vidyanam, Hayagriva Mupasmahe. Sadasiva Samarambham, Senkaracharya Madhyamam, Asmadacharya Paryantam, Vande Guru Paramparam. So, welcome to all. So, this is my uh, presentation on the examples from where, from, uh, the, a doubt has come. Somebody has phoned and asked me, sir, what examples, what is that examples? Why? So, we have a saying in Telugu, Enduku, Emiti, Yala. So, in similar fashion, I left the heading like that, the examples from, because of uh, space constraint or uh, uh, let people understand what I am trying to tell initially without my telling uh, completely. So that is why I thought examples from Vedanta. So what examples? The examples that could emulate us, that could give us through light of knowledge in para or apara vidya. 
So what is para apra vidya? This is my favorite picture. Lord, I mean, sage Veda Vyasa telling Lord Ganesha and Ganesha meditating it. Either it is Mahabharata or the Vedas or the Upanishads and all those things. So then how the knowledge is transmitted from sages to the, by sages from generations by Smriti. Smriti is uh, only listening. I mean, it is aporshayam. Nobody spoke or nobody uttered anything or nobody minuted. It came just like that. So, Sruti, uh, our uh, uh, Vedas, Upanishads, all those things, Vedas, Vedangas and Upanishads comes under Sruti. And then Spruti, Spruti is minuted or memorized or remembered. So, all these Sastras, Dharma Sastras have come from there. Spruti, Manu Spruti, Parasara Spruti, Agnavalka Spruti, all those things have come. And Puranas, Astadesh Puranas, they have come. So, all these things are from the uh, um, Smruti, they have come. Uh, so, Vedas are, are our primary source of knowledge. Even before Galileo, Vedas are there. So, uh, even Thomas Alva Edition found the um, light. If before that, we know how light could be produced and all. So, there are our Sastras are there. We have Vast Sastra, we have Agama Sastra, we have... Uh, Ayurveda, we have uh, Dhanurveda, what not. So, these, all this knowledge spread over as two kinds. One is Paravidya and the Aparavid, Aparavidya. For Karma Kanda, Aparavidya is uh, known. And for Gnana Kanda, the, para, uh, the Paravidya is known. <coughs> so, Paravidya is Veda Antabhaga. That is Nanakanda, which deals with our spiritual life. One need to follow either Karma Kanda or Gnana Kanda, depending on their cycle of life. What is the cycle of life? Bala, Yavana, Kaumarya, Manaprasa, Sanyasasramas. So, basing on this cycle of life, first you have to <coughs> do the duties, the rituals which you are supposed to do. Then you should acquire the Gnanam, that is for getting the Moksham or liberation. So these are the, uh, I have already, the scriptures I have mentioned. <coughs> so this is a small uh, diagram I have made. So this is input-output process uh, in computer language, in IT language. So Karma Kanda is Aparavidya, Nana Kanda is Paravidya. So either you adopt either this approach or that approach for reaching the your ultimate goal. So Karma Kanda is through Agna rituals or Punyakaryas. Or Granakonda is through sadhana, sravanam, mananam, nidhidhyasanam, or yoga, or penance, whatever it is. So you will reach either Svargam or Kaivalyam. So what you want? Svargam or Kaivalyam? Kaivalyam is moksha, ultimate goal. Svargam, yes, it is also. But what happens to if, if you get only Svarga? So Karmakanda gives you only Svarga. That is what I understood. Okay. So what is the purpose of human life? So your purpose of human life is to get the moksha, ultimate liberation for the soul. So that your goal, first goal is moksha. How do you achieve those goals? By other three purusha arthas, dharma, ardha, kama. So we know all those things. So I'm not going into detail in that. But dharma is attached with karma. For doing your rightful way of living, you have to do some karma, some action. So action, karma means what? Action, act, fate, consequence or some of one's actions. So that is what is karma. Then moksha, as I said, it is realizing the ultimate, um, uh, the truth between the self and the reality, Brahman. So soul and Brahman. So what is the purpose? Purpose is to minimize our bad fortune, either to achieve a better rebirth or no birth at all. Because there are 84 lakh Jevarasis. 84, Jeva lakh, 84 lakh Jevarasis are Pranis. They don't happen simply like that. One for getting liberation or moksha after getting these birds, 100, maybe 1000, we don't know. So then only the salvation will come, the liberation will come. So karma, as we said, is a system where beneficial effects are derived from beneficial actions and harmful effects from past harmful actions. So this is like Newton's third law. Newton found only recently, but this law is there long back in our Dharma Shastras. So karma, then what happens? Karma, if you do bad actions, 
So you will have a cycle of birth, death and rebirth. And uh, karmas are three types that everybody know. I'm not trying to expand this. Sanchita karma, prarabdha karma and agami karma. Okay. So, but how you get rid of these karmas? Kshina punya marche logam vishanti. So, this is what it says. This is from Bhagavad Gita chapter 9, verse 21. Stock of punya, whatever good things you have done, if it get exhausted, you are thrown to the back to this plane, earthly plane. So, you are not there permanently in Svarga. Yes, now I have come. So, that is why Svarga is not your permanent place. Doing by doing karma gardna, getting punyas, uh, or getting some good deeds, uh, or getting some credit balance, it is not enough. So by knowing what you are, self-realization or self-actualization by getting through Jnana Kanda, then you are, your soul is liberated. So Jiva gets its fruit, fruit from its unenjoyed karma. Jiva withdraws life from this body when karma phalam gets exhausted. That's what that... Um, so even in unmanifest condition, Jivatma individuality is not destroyed. That is what the um, Shastra says. So then why? Karma cannot function independently on its own. So who is the dispenser of that? Almighty is the dispenser of that. That is why Bhagavad Gita chapter 2 there is a verse, Karmanye Vadikaraste, Mafalesh Kadachanaha, Ma Karma Falahetur Bhumate, Sambo Astvastva Karmani. So do your duty, but do not concern yourself with the results. This is what Lord Krishna told the Lord Mighty Arjuna that forget about you do your duty. So doing duty is your karma in a rightful way. So, but doing no karma gives freedom from birth or rebirth or salvation it will not give. Karma cannot remove your ignorance. So, when your ignorance is re removed, when you get the knowledge only, your ignorance is removed. How? How it is removed? Yadhai dhamsi samidhogni basmat kurte arjuna nanagni sarva karmani basmat kurte tadha. That means as a kindled fire reduces wood to ashes, so the knowledge you acquire by that knowledge, that knowledge burns uh, your agnana into ashes. Agnana means your uh, karmas or reactions from these material activities. So does past karma, this is a question somebody normally asks, you know, past karma, see I had some karma past, does it affect my present life? Yes, it will affect. Why? How? The basis for life is one's own karma of the past. That is what is clearly understood. For this, a question was asked to Swami Ramakrishna Paramahamsa Ji by one foreign lady, a tourist. And she wanted uh, not confusing Veda, Advaita, all those things. Simple answer. Then Swami Ji said, you do one thing, you go to a maternity hospital in Calcutta. You just observe and tell me what has happened. So then after one week, she came back and she said, Swamiji, I got the answer. Please excuse me. So I know why there is past karma effects on us. Then he said, anyhow, you please tell. Others also should know. Na? Then when she went to hospital, she noticed the pregnant women from all sections of the society. Rich, poor, middle class, rickshaw pillars, beggars, whatever it is, all come to the hospital. But the treatment of the babies born to their mothers were totally different. We know there are uh, the general ward, there are the outpatient ward, there are the inpatient ward, there are the paid ward, there are the cubicles, lot of things. So how, why a baby should have this type of treatment? Uh, because of his past karma. So a baby born to Tata Birla will have a different uh, uh, treatment in this world compared to the other class of society. So that is why she wondered what karma the newborn babies have done to this differential treatment. It is truly not karma of this life. 
Because only see, one one hour baby, what karma she has done now? No. This is your prarabdha karma or sanjita karma which has come from there. So karma phalam always acts on us. So that is why we notice. So this is uh, what I have taken from uh, some source. So that is what, see babies, we have all, all types of pranis and all. So some babies, they are very healthy. Some are crippled, some are unhealthy, some have some problem, some have balaristas. Why? And similarly, see, there is a comparison. Swami Ramana Maharshi had a dog by the name called Jackie. Same street dog he was having. He doesn't have any Alsatian or Doberman or something like that. But on the other hand, there is another street dog which is wounded, which is uh, discarded uh, in the skin and all. So why? This dog is why and this dog is why like that? Then if there is no karma, then the creation must be same for everyone. Why he should be, why that dog should be like that and why this should be like this. So karma prevails on us. So having discussed about the preamble, because uh, in the examples we get all this, uh, uh, mostly the uh, karma phalam and how karma phalam has need to be liquidated and all. So now we came to Upanishad. We know this also a known slide. Upanishad, Upanishad that is sitting beside and getting the knowledge from the Guru. So the word Upani also means clear and self-knowledge. And uh, then Nishad means very near to the entity, to the God. So that is self or Atma. And uh, Nischaya means clear or definite knowledge. So this is what. And Upanishads uh, as a philosophy, it's only a dialogue between Guru and Shishya. Encourages one to expand their inner self by asking the Vedantic questions. That is the deliberations. And uh, like the questions all you know, where do I come, where from? Um, so all these examples are there. So these are explained with examples in the Upanishad. Where, do I, where did I come from? Why I am here? So one should understand why you are here. For that, the stories or examples are given in the Upanishads. So as you know, there are 1180 Upanishads. The 1180 out of them, 108 are available and 14 are popular. 10 are Dasa Upanishad, Isha Kena Katha Prasna Mundaka. Mandukya Tir Aitreya Taitreja Chandogyam Brahadara Nikatadha. So this is that. And uh, Adi Sankaracharya um, Swami wrote uh, the Bhashyam for all these uh, 10 Upanishads. So before starting the examples from the Upanishad, as a customary, I need to do the Panchasantaya Mantram I need to do. So I will do. Please excuse me for a minute. I'll do it fast. Om Vajam Me Manasi Pratishtita Me Mano Me Vajam Pratishtita Abhirma Virme Dhivedhasyama Anista Srutam Mema Prahasi Anena Aditena Ahoratran Sandarami Amrutam Vadishami Satyam Vadishami Tanma Avatu Tad Bhaktar Mavatu Avatamam Avatu Bhaktaram This is from Rugveda Om Santi 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 Om Sahana Bhavatu Sahano Bhunattu Sahaviryan Karvavahi Yesvina Vadhi Tamastuma Vidvishavahi Om Santi 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 This is from Krishna Yajurveda Om Apya Yantamamangani Vag Pratna Chachuhu Srotra Mido Balamindriani Chasarvani, Sarvam Brahma Upanishadam, Maham Brahma Nirvatun, Mama Brahma Nirakarot, Anil Nakaranamanastva, Nirakaraname Astu, Tadatma Nirati, Ya Upanishad Sudharmaste, Mai Santu, Te Mai Santu, Om Santi Santi, this is from Samveda, Om Badranka Nebi, Sunamaya Deva, Badram Basse Maksha Vijayatraha, Stire Rangaihi, Sustavagam Sastanubi, Yasema, Deva Hitam Yidayu, Swastina Hindu Drastreva, Swastina Pusha Visvaveda, Sastina Turukshu, Arishtanimi, Swastino Brahaspati Dadatu, Om Santi Santi Santi. This is from Atharvana Veda. And we know our gurus like uh, Vishalakshi Madam, Prabhu sir, they have already explained the meanings of this uh, uh, Panchisantaya. So, um, uh, we know of the importance of these uh, Panchasantayas. So the, my first story or example is from the Ashtavakraka Samhita. So this is a, a Sishya and Elephant. 
So this Shisha and elephant talk about the Vyavaharika Paramarthika Satyam. So what is it Vyavaharika Paramarthika Satyam? What you know generally and what is the truth inside? So for this purpose, this story was explained. Uh, Guru told his Shisha that uh, there was a Guru and his disciple Guru uh, taught his, the, his disciple uh, that Iswara, what he taught, Iswara dwells in every Jiva. Iswara is there in every Jiva, in me, in you, in the dog, in the elephant, or everybody it is there. So the Shisha understood. Okay, very good. Very fine. Swami, I understood it. Then he was, uh, one day he asked to go to a forest to get the uh, I mean, uh, wood for doing the Agnihotram. So he went and bringing the wood. On the road, he has seen a big elephant gone out of control of the Mahat, who controls the elephant. So then that elephant uh, is a uh, viral mind. It is going this side, that side, eating everything. Then uh, that Mahat is uh, telling everybody, go out, go out, go. This boy, this Sisha, he thought in elephant Jiva, Jiva, Paramatma is there. Na? So he knows nothing will happen. Like that, the even Mahant, again he said, no, no, Baba, go, go out, go out. No, no, he didn't listen. Okay. So that elephant hit, hit that boy, hit that Sisha. Then Guru came and asked, what happened? Why you had this uh, elephant tough? Tough with elephant, why? He said, Swami, you told that um, uh, Jiva is there in me as well as in the elephant. Don't you know that? Guru asked him, don't you know that there is Jiva in the Mohat also who is controlling the elephant? Why didn't you listen to him? So this is the story, story to simply say that when I said, Guru said, when I said that there is a Jiva everywhere, it implies that Jiva is there in Mohat also. So there is an implied meaning Implied Satyam, Paramardhik Satyam and Vyavaharika Satyam. So this is that story. So in simple words, what I understand, I, will, I try to tell. So when one realizes the Self, one experiences the enlightenment of the Absolute Reality. As soon as one becomes aware of the Absolute Reality, the Vyavaharika Satya ceases to exist. So when you know that what is the uh, real truth inside, what is the wisdom, what is the knowledge you got, how do you discriminate uh, between Paravidya and Aparavidya, between the Agnanam or Gnanam, between Vivekam and Avivekam, then you are enlightened. So this is what the story says. Then second story is from Brahadaranya Upanishad. Brahadaranya Upanishad. Brahadaranya means Aranya, great forest. So this uh, is called Brahadaranya Upanishad. This is in chapter 4.12. Embedded in the Ajurveda, the oldest Upanishad. And uh, Agnavalka has uh, told this uh, uh, thing, uh, example. It begins with the creation of the universe by the God, Prajapati Brahma. The Atma as the higher self. The immortality of the soul. Illusion of duality, Daitam, Advaitam, so that illusion, clarity of illusion and the essential unity of reality is discussed. What is this example? This is salt. I think this in the previous class also I have discussed when I was talking about Mahavakyas. So a salt, a lump of salt thrown in a water get dissolves. Can we take it? the salt back. No, we can't take it. Once we put the salt in the water, it gets automatically dissolves. So, like similarly, your self get dissolves. Your self get dissolves into the sea of consciousness. So, you know, what is that consciousness? Avastas, we know. Swapna, Jagrutta, Avastha, and finally, fourth is Priya Avastha. So, when you reach that consciousness, self-consciousness, triya avastha, your soul gets dissolves into that. 
So there is no soul for you. It is gone into Paramatma. Jivatma has merged into Paramatma. So for this, so salt, if, we, if you see, look separately, salt is separate. Water is separate. But if you put salt in water, it gets dissolved. So mamekam. Atma mamekams with Paramatma. So this is that example he has given. So then third is Ekpinde Tad Brahmande. So this is, uh, there is a um, Taitreya Upanishad. The course of evolution of human being is uh, uh, told in Taitreya Upanishad. So in this uh, mantra, verse uh, 2.1, chapter 3, Om Tasmad Dveva Etasmad Tadatmanam Akasha Sambhutaha Akasha Vayu Vayur Agnihi Agniro Apuho Ad Ambaha Prudvi Prudviya Aushadiya Aushadiyam Aushadiyayom Annam Annat Purushaha Saeva. So this is how this mantra goes. So what this mantra says is from, from Parabrahma, who is Parabrahma? Knowledge, truth, satyam, which is infinite, eternal, independent. From that the self has come. Self has come and the spirit has come from spirit. Self is nothing but your spirit. From spirit, either Akash has come. From Akash, the fire has born. From fire, water. Water from earth and from earth, herbs and plants. From herbs and plants, the food has come. Aushadhyaya Annaha. So food has come and from food, finally man has come because food gives you the virium, sekti, strength from that the man has come. The generations have come. So this is how they made of... Uh, so man, this human being is made of essential substance of food. So what this Yatpinde Tad Brahmande then? So what you have in the universe, you have in you also. How it is that? So, Ekpinde Tad Brahmande is from Aitreya Upanishad, basically. So, this is Sutra of Aitreya Upanishad. Talks about the unity of Brahma and Atma. That means whatever is there in the universe, in Brahman, universe is Brahman, same you have in your inside. So, that is why there is a one Sant Kabir Sloka is also there. So, a drop merges into the ocean. Everyone understands it. The drop falling in the ocean gets absorbed in it. But when ocean merges into the drop, seldom does one does one understand it. So one doesn't know. Brahman automatically gets absorbed into your self. So that is what it is there in Hindi. Bandhu samani hai samundar me janta hai sab koi samundar samne bandhu me. So like that. Uh, this uh, Doha went. So this is what Ekpinde Tad Brahmande. So, whatever is there in the universe, it is inside your body. How? Your body made of panchabhutas, isn't it? Do we agree? Everybody agrees. Our body is made of panchabhutas. So, what are those panchabhutas? Pridvi, Jal, Agni, Vayu, Akash. How? You have seven chakras in this body. What are those chakras? Muladhar chakra, Swadishthana chakra, Manipur chakra, Anahat chakra, Vishuddh chakra, Agni chakra, Sahasra chakra. So at the Muladhar Chakra, you have the Pridvi base. And then Swadhishtana Chakra, you have the water. Manipura is solar, where, where you get the Jhataragni, Agni. So Agni comes from there, Jhataragni. Badabagni, Jhataragni. So this is, Jhataragni is there. It gives you the um, uh, Kriya Silata. So then, after then you have air in heart, that is Anahata Chakra. Then Visiddhi Chakra, this is the throat where you have the Apana. And then there you have the Agna Chakra, where you get the Gnanam, third eye. And then you have the Sahasrara Chakra. This is also called um, the uh, Murdhena in uh, um, this uh, Namakam Chamukam also it had Murdhena. So from here, even the Paramatma, at the ninth month of a baby, he enters from here into the Jivatma. And again, when our life goes, it goes like this only. So that is why we call it as Brahma Kapala Moksham. So that is why at that time also we see whether Kapala Moksham has happened or not. Why we see? 
Because even if the prani would have gone from somewhere else, from out of other panchendriyas, prani may go. But we, as per our dharma shastra, they get moksham only when you, our life, our jivatma goes by the crown chakra, sahasrara chakra only. Then only one gets the salvation, moksha, liberation. That is why we see there that till Brahma, till kapala moksha happens, we see that that body is cremated properly. So then uh, we came to another example. This is uh, third valley of Kathopanishad presents the chariot. This is a chariot example is taken, a radham. Radham example is to, taken. How Atma controls the body, mind, senses. What is Atma? Know that Atma is the rider. You are the Atma. Huh? And the chariot, the body is the chariot. Know the buddhi. Buddhi is the charity, the reins. And mana is the reins. So buddhi is the charity. So the, the senses are called the horses. Your panchendriyas, they are called the horses. So the object of the senses are the path, the road where you are going. Nanam, Agnanam, Vidya, Avidya, where you are going. So that means the rider. The charitor, rider sits there and he directs. Charitor with the reins, control the horses, take the horses. So your indriyas are controlled by mind, mind is controlled by buddhi, buddhi is controlled by your manaha. Mana is you yourself. So this or union of all these things gives you the enjoyment. You have a safe ride. Safe ride is the enjoyment. That's all. This is what the this example or this story talks about. So know the self. The charioteer owner, the body, the chariot, know the reason the charioteer is what, what I have explained. The self joined the senses of mind, the enjoyer. So whoever is ignorant uh, in this aspect, always with mind loose, his senses uncontrolled, uh, like bad horses, uh, uh, and then he, he gets problem. If it is tightened, uh, so always with mind tightened, senses controlled, uh, with good horses of the charioteer, uh, whoever is indeed ignorant, thought, thoughtless, always impure, and he does not obtain the goal and comes back again to the samsara. So this is what even Jitu Krishnamurti also said, controlling of body is controlling of the mind. So then, this is uh, about uh, the bow, arrow, and the target. This is from Mundaka Upanishad. So, Om, with Om, uh, this is uh, built up, taking the bow as a great weapon. The Upanishad told one should put upon its arrow sharpened by meditation. Stretching with thought directed to the essence of that Paramatma, penetrate that imperishable mark, Paramatma, and Om is the bow, the arrow is the self, Brahmam is the mark, by the undistracted man is to be penetrated. So this is the sloka, verse 2.2.4. Pranavo Dhanuhu, Siroham Atmaha, Brahma, Tadat Laksham Pradimuchete. So, this is how this mantra goes. So, Pranava is Om, Dhanu is the bow, Sharo is the arrow, Atma is the Brahma, said to be the Laksham target, and it should be hit by one who is self collected and that which it becomes uh, like the arrow, one with the mark. So, that is become Akshara Laksham, it is called. Atma, Paramatma, Mamekam. So, Om is the cause of the Atma entering into the Brahma. For it is only when purified and by the repetition of Pranava, this happens without destruction or distraction. So, Om, you know, it is the one word syllable. 
the past, the present, and the future, and all avastas also is uh, there in the Om that we have discussed in the other session. I'm not going into much detail. So Om pervades the entire creation. It is imperishable self, the infinite, like God Himself. Om is Atma. Om is Paramatma. So Om is the bow, and the arrow is the self. Brahma is the mark. By undistracted man, Brahma or Om, it has to be penetrated. So then Atma becomes Paramatma. So this is that story. Then from again Mundaka Upanishad, two birds on a tree. This is another story. This talks about the Jivatma and Paramatma. So who is Jivatma? Who is Paramatma? Who is the director and who is the actor? Who is the seer? Who is the seen? These are the famous words used in Vedanta. Observer, observed. Seer, seen. Witness. So these are the normal words we get. So this tries to explain to a certain extent what are those things. Drusyam. So all those things it is explained. So now here the example is taken as a tree. But this tree is an inverted tree. Having the roots at the top. That is nothing but Brahman. Because Brahman, Akasam, in Akasam, Brahman is there. No? So that's why roots are on Akasam. To the sky. And its branches are prana, that is the life. Various pranas. Prana, dana, vyono, dana, samana, prasa, prana, sankhya. So that is what we say. So all pranas. And then it is downwards, all these branches downwards, clinging with the karma falas. All branches downwards, clinging with the karma falas. And then the um, source is avyakta, down is avyakta, maya, you don't know. It is named as kshetra and it's having its proof of the karma of all living things. So this is the tree structure. On the tree, there are two birds with excellent feathers, equal in all aspects, always together and inseparable friends touch on the same tree. So this one tree, one bird is denoted as, signified as the human being, self, atma, our self. He is called Kshetra Gna. He is in the subtle body. That Jiva is where in the subtle body, in our subtle body. We know Stula, Sushma, Seriras. So like that. So in that, he is in our subtle body, stola seriram. So, conditioned by the subtle body, because this jivatma is conditioned by subtle body, conditioned by karmas, conditioned by actions, and perturbed by maya, these karmas, these karmas are perturbed by maya, because maya is with us. So, because of maya, we get the desires. Because of we do the kama, krodha, madama, asharya, all these things, shalangas, we perform. We are imbibed or we are drowned with that. And uh, he tastes the fruits, this bird, this uh, bird called the human being or self, uh, or jivatma, tastes the fruits of karma due to ignorance, misery, happiness, desire. And uh, because of their unmanifested tendencies or modes. On the other hand, the other bird, Ishvara. Ishvara is Paramatma, eternal, pure, intelligent, omniscient, omnipresent, and free in his nature, and unconditioned by Maya, does not eat, but he is just looking at not tasting the fruit, but looks on. So, human being who is eating that sits grieving because of his papa karmas, because of his deeds, because of his acts, drowned in sorrow, bewildered, feeling helpless, how to come up this life, how to come up this samsara chakra. But when this man, this bird, sees the other bird, Isa, with proper knowledge, 
content and realizes that he is the glory, he is the Lord, then that grief passes away. Because Isha is the director for the eater and the thing being eaten. That eater means who? Jiva. Thing being eaten is the fruit, karma falas. So for this, who is the director? Director is the Ishvara. You are the actor. You are the only actor. That is why he is not tasting. He is only looking on. So, so he is neither seer nor seen. He is only witness. Witness is his direction. Like a king does the directs his uh, soldiers or directs his uh, empire. Hence, Jiva drowned and perplexed, grief owing to helplessness. When he sees the other, the Lord is worshipped by all and his glory becomes absolved from that grief. When Jiva comes out of helplessness and knows that Brahman is his own Swarupam and his own Mahima is self-illumination, self-effulgent, then he will be out of grief. But how this happens? When once the seer or mumukshu, when he becomes a mumukshu, gets out of all detachments, mumukshu need not be a sannyasi. Mumukshu means what is the meaning of mumukshu? Mumukshu is moksha ardhi. So whoever is moksha ardhi, whoever is desirous of having, having to get moksha, he is Seer is Mumukshu. When one he knows and realizes that the brilliant maker and director is the um, Lord Paramatma, Ishvara, then that Isha is has source in Brahman, and then he is wise, he shakes off good and evil. So, and then he comes out stainlessly. And he reaches the highest oneness. When you reach that stage of Mumukshu stage, reaches the stage of Turiyavastha, then you get Mamekam with the Atma and Paramatma. So this is from Kaivalya Upanishad, this uh, story. Uh, I think this is uh, uh, story number seven, I think I put. There are another five stories are there. Total 12 stories I have taken. So, yes, I have another half an hour, I think. So, Kalal Garo, I think I have a half an hour. This is about wood and fire. How the fire is produced from wood. What is wood? What is fire? Atmana marinam krutva pranamam chotarinam nanani mandana abhyasat fasam dahati panditaha. So this is from Kaivalya Upanishad, Sloka 11. Keeping in mind, keeping mind, our mind, buddhi at the lower RNA, fire stick. RNA is a fire stick available for making the fire. So if you think that, uh, you think that your mind is the fire stick, RNA, lower stick, that is lower stick. And Omkara is the upper RNA. Omkara is the upper stick. So both upper stick, lower stick is your mind. Lower wood is your mind. Upper uh, stick is your Omkara, Omkaram. So practice churning of the knowledge, which is in the form of inquiry. How do you practice? You practice by sitting before the Guru, nearest to Guru, through Upanishads. You try to get the knowledge by churning by the upper RNA and lower RNA. Then what you get? You get the knowledge. Fire. Fire is nothing but the knowledge. So the wise man down his bondage. So he is out of his bondages by getting Atma Gnana as a kindled fire. So slowly when the fire, fire starts, come slowly, 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 bit by bit, and then it expands, it becomes a big fire in the Agnihotram. In similar fashion, he gets his uh, Agnanam, Avivekam, Avidya, gets destroyed. So that is why this sloka is told, Atmana marinam krutva pranamam chotarinam nana nimandhani abhyas abhyasat pasam 
Dahati Pandita. So Abhyasat, so if he practices like that, then Pasem Dahati. Pasem means what? Pasem means the bondage. It gets destroyed. To whom? To the Pandita. Pandita means who? This is uh, that uh, uh, Sishya who learns properly. So then this uh, next um, uh, is about the um, Gandhara story. This is called Gandhara Purusha. Gandhara is, uh, Gandhara Desham is Afghanistan, I think. Earlier, in earlier days, Gandhara, in our Sanatana Dharma, in our West Shastras, Gandhara is mentioned. Uh, Afghanistan as a state, uh, as a country. So this is in Chandogya Upanishad, chapter 6, verse 14. So, uh, um, so this uh, in this loka it is mentioned about a person was brought to a forest blindfolded by tying his eyes uh, eyes uh, so that he, he he cannot see where he is going and how he has come and he was put it in a deserted place he left in a deserted place. He's a blind man, blindfolded. So he, he, he doesn't know how he has come there, where he has come, how to go. So then when he when he gets it unfolded, he doesn't know what to do. Where he is, he doesn't know. Which side he has to go, north, east, south. Where he has to go, he doesn't know. Then that's why he started shouting. I came uh, here, I was blindfolded. I've been left here blindfolded. So where should I go? I came from Gandhara. My name, my country is Gandhara. How to go? So then someone come to his rescue, remove the, the blindfold and say, Gandhara is this way. Maybe north side. You go towards north, go this way. Then that man goes from one village to another, asking his way and relying on the information people give until he reaches Gandhara country. So this example is given here for the purpose that similarly, a person who gets a teacher attains knowledge, his delay is only as long as he is not free from his body. After that, he becomes merged in the self. So the moment he gets the knowledge, the delay is the is Jivatma coming out to the Samadhi state. And then, in, uh, with that knowledge, you uh, merge with the self. Similarly, Guru and Shastra Upadesham, by Guru and Shastra Upadesham, through Guru, an ignorant can attain Brahma Swarupam. For that, this example has been told. As a, a Gandhara person reached Gandhara with the help of the uh, Guru, and by knowing uh, where, how to go, and then uh, which uh, village he has to pass through, by knowing all these things. Uh, similarly, a person with good guru, a sishya with good guru, can come out of his avidya and then reach the Brahma Swarupam. So, but here, this experience, you know, the bad prarabdha karma destroys by experience, by experiencing hear itself, and sanchita karma destroyed by getting your knowledge. So you have no karmas. You are free from karmas, then you are liberated. Then there is no rebirth again. If there are no karmas, no rebirth. Your debit and credit balance is zero. When your balance is zero, you don't have anything, then you are out of this bondage, out of this liberation, out of this uh, body, and not only this body, Janma Janmala bodies also gets passed out and your Atma um, uh, gets the gets into Paramatma and uh, you have no rebirth at all. This soul, your soul has no rebirth. So then uh, this, uh, another story, this is about the reverse. So whatever rivers are there, from the direction it emanates, they run to the sea in the same direction. Those rivers belonging to the east run to the east and those belonging to the west run to the west. Rising from the sea, they go back into it and become one with it. So, 
as in Sanjavandanam we say, Sagaranam, Nadinam, Edagachit Sagaram, Sarvadeva Namaskaram, Jesum Padigachit. So, similarly, so all rivers, wherever they have come from, they follow the same direction and uh, they merge into the sea. So, and they come from sea only. So the water from sea, because of the sun rays and all, because of uh, all those processes, the water becomes rain and rain comes again back into the river, in the form of river and river again goes and back meditates into sea. So, and there uh, you have any difference. I am Ganga, I am Yamuna, Amas, I am Saraswati, I am Krishna, I am Godavari. No. When the when it merges into ocean, it's an ocean. Finish. So likewise, all Jeevatmas, when they merge into Paramatma, there is no PS Murti, there is no XYZ, there is no ABC. So the soul, Namani Rupani, no. No Namam, no Rupam. Everything merged into the Paramatma. So, Srishtate Purvam Aviveka Avastha. So, before creation only all these, we have this Aviveka Vivastha. We were indistinguishable masses. But when we get the knowledge, we are nobody, we are nothing, we are zero, we are no. So, this is what this story talks about. And then, the this story is about uh, a sick person on death door. He is on the death door. This is also from Chandogya Upanishad. So when a person is seriously ill, his relatives sit around naturally and then uh, they normally what question we ask? Tata nananu kurtu bartava? How are you? Can you identify me? Who am I? Where from I have come? But that sick person who is on the deathbed, so long as his speech does not merge with his mind, his mind with prana, his prana with the heat in the body, and the heat with the supreme self, he will be able to recognize. recognize. So, all these actions, all these uh, um, uh, indriyas, unless they get dissolved, uh, he recognizes. But when once they start getting dissolved, getting, getting disintegrated, his speech merges into his mind. So, he, uh, he doesn't know how to speak. Already, all his uh, uh, the brain uh, uh, nerves have been damaged. So no memory, memory cord has gone and uh, his mind merges into prana and prana becomes merges into the heat of the body and then entire body tattva goes and merges into the supreme self and then he, he is no more. So similarly, Man of knowledge and ordinary worldly man both merge in Brahman in the same way. Man of wisdom has Niroba. So anybody, anyhow, anybody has to die. Whether who got the Turiya Avastha or whether uh, who doesn't have an Gagnani, Aviveki, he also will have to take the death. There is no um, solution. But man of wisdom has no rebirth. But ignorant man has to born again in accordance with the results of his action or karma. So that is why I have discussed about karma a little bit earlier. So we should know because karma is very closely related with all our Vedanta and Upanishads. <clears throat> then this story is about rope and snake. Sarpo, Sarpa Rajo Bhranti, that is what we call in uh, Sanskrit. Sarpa Rajo Bhranti. So, this is to illustrate Maya. How you can define Maya, illusion. What is Maya? For, for defining that, for making us to understand 
What is Maya? So this story has been explained. So a man was walking down in a darkened street. There is no light at all. Amavasya. It is a no moon day. No light. And he was walking on the road. He saw a snake. And he gets his heart pounds. So his pulse goes back. Heartbeat increases. He doesn't know what to do. Snake is there. If it bites me, I'm out. In that semi-conscious state of mind, with more of worry, fear, then he, with his small knowledge, whatever he has, he tried to inspect the snake and he found it, it is a rope. Happy. He's happy. He said, oh, it's only rope. So I got this problem. So delusion, once this delusion breaks, that vanishes forever. Similarly, walking down the darkened road of ignorance, so darkened road, walking on the darkened road is your ignorance, avidya. Sees ourselves as mortal creatures and around us the universe of name and form. The universe is conditioned by time, space and causation. We become aware of our limitations, bondage and sufferings. That, that's the way, that is why when, when we are connected with this world, no? with this environment, with this outer world. So that is why when we saw it uh, as a snake, no, we are tumbled down. We don't know what to do. We are fear. But when once you realize that there is, it is not a snake, it is a rope, that means the darkened path you have crossed and you have acquired knowledge from avidya to vidya, you got the knowledge, nanam. So when you got that, on closer inspection, both mortal creature as well as the universe turns out as Brahman. So when you learn that knowledge, everything is Brahman. So when you attain that stage, that, see, here you thought everything is controlled by you, but that is controlled by Maya. But when that Maya has gone, it is only Paramatma. It's only Brahman, Parabrahman, everything he is, he. So once this delusion breaks our morality as well as the universe disappear forever. So we, when we are detached from this universe, we see Brahman existing everywhere and in everything. So this is what this rope and Sarpo Raja Branti. So this is what is told. As far as I understand, please excuse me if I am going out of my control. I am trying to um, share my knowledge, whatever I could understand. So that is why what is, this is about ornaments, gold and ornaments, this story. See, we know that gold, gold in a form, it's a pure form, undisturbed form. But there, from gold, you know, you can make a ring or you can make a bracelet, or a chain, or a necklace. But the fourth stage is gold. If you see it ring, you will say it is not gold. You say it is a ring. If you, see, if you see a chain lying on the floor, it is made of gold, but still you don't say it is gold. A necklace is there. So, when you say gold, that is the stage. That means you, when identify the Parabrahman, that is the stage of your Turiya Vastha. That is the fourth stage. So, Turiya is your highness. Turiya is Asanga, non-attachment, non-attached to anything. So, looking gold as gold. 
Don't look as a chain, don't look as a pot, look, don't look as a kettle. No. Mati is mati. From mati, you can make pots, you can make plates, you can make whatnot. So similarly, but mati, its form is not disturbed. So that's why when you forget about namani rupani, then you are uh, detached from this world. So non-attached to anything, it is unattached because you are conscious. Prakasam, eliminating object. Eliminated, illumined does not affect the light. That is what another thing, but this is a very, um, uh, what is illumination? What is illuminated? What is uh, the illumine? So three factors are there. It is. It takes long time to explain. So the concept behind it. Anyhow, so this is about the uh, nama and the rupam. So when you realize the ultimate rupam, ultimate nama, then you are in the fourth stage. Correct. So then ultimately, finally, we have uh, there is a small story of Tulsi Das, his life story. Tulsi Das used to love his wife Ratnavali. So much that when Ratnavali went into her home, he could not stop himself from meeting her. It was raining heavily on that night. So, but still he has that desire to meet her, to see her. So Ratnavali house was in the village on the other side of the river. So Tulsi Das came out of his house in heavy rain to meet his wife. There is no boat near the river. There is a dead body floating there. He saw it. Somehow, he crossed the river with the help of that body. So, he doesn't mind even if it is a dead body. After reaching his wife's house, he knocked on the door. No one opened the door. So, he started looking for a way to climb up. Again, he saw a thick rope and climbed up using that rope and reached the strike to the wife's room. So the wife got upset and asked, how did you come? Then he said, I came by hope, by the rope. Then she saw again Sarpo Raju Branti. It was a snake. It's not a rope. Then she, Ratnavali said, because it is unfathomable attachment to her. She doesn't know what to talk. So, oh husband, if you loved Ram as much as you love me or my body, you have been different. You would have been different. She simply said, this is the only word she said. He, he came, he crossed the river with the help of a dead body and he um, went to the stairs uh, through a snake, thinking that it is a rope. He didn't bother, even if it is a snake. So that was the incha, incha he has. That was the desire. So, then he realized, these words hit him, shattered him. Shattered him. Whom? Tulsi Das. Shattered him. And uh, he immediately decided to leave the house. So he went to Chitrakut and he built a cottage, small cottage there, Kutiram. And uh, then he got the Atma Sashatkar of Lord Rama, Anumanji, and all those things. So Tulsi Das composed many Vedic as we know, as like uh, Ram Chaitamani Sandas. So, what is the moral of this story? Dehik Prem was the only Brahma Tattva he has. For whom? For Tulsi Das. Until he found that there is something else. Sachidananda Swarupam is there. That Brahma Tattva, Lord Rama is there. So that Tattva he has to know. That is again told by whom? His wife. So till such time he was not on the path of Preya until his wife made him realize the path of Shreya. So Preya, Shreya. Again, this is again big subject. There is no I mean, time for us to go into this. So anyhow, this is the moral of the story. So unless 
you understand the Paramatma, you will not be able to come out of your desires. Kama, Krodha, Moha, Madha, Masharya. So, this is the end of it. And uh, there is another small story. This is very well known in uh, North India. The story is in Hindi. If time permits, I will just uh, uh, take another two, three minutes and I will close. So, there is a, in a small village in UP. Um, yeah, I will take only five minutes. It is five o'clock. So, in that village, there is one um, washerman, Dobhi. So, that Dobhi does not do anything. His wife used to go to uh, Riverside. She used to wash the clothes, bring and distribute all those things and all. Even cook. She used to cook food. But in, whenever she gets time, she used to go to Satsang. Big month has come and every day she was attending the Satsang. This fellow just sitting idle in the house, doing nothing, just whiling away his time. Then she came and told one day her husband, very frantically, see, go there. I'm not able to understand what they are talking. At least you are a human, you are a person, you are a male, you know, you are in the society. I don't know, I only, only to uh, wash the clothes, I know, I don't know anything. So you go and learn at least two, three words what they say. It's a very good satsang, I am told. Then with great difficulty, this man went. After having very heavy food, he went around three o'clock, four o'clock. So satsang, he just went. There are some 100, 150 people in the satsang. People are coming. This fellow, he had some washerman now. So he wear, wore some good clothes. You can understand what I am telling, good clothes. So he wore good clothes and went. By the time he entered that uh, pandal, everybody thought, oh, some, because uh, nobody has seen him earlier. The, uh, the um, meetings were going on for the last 10-15 uh, days, but nobody has seen him. Suddenly he came. That is a very great man. Somebody has come. So, usko bola, aye, aye, aye. so this fact, because I am seeing the slide and talking. So, aye, aye, aye. then uh, though all those people thought he's a big man. Uh, so uh, he was invited. This fellow was very happy. Our Dhobi sir was very happy. Then uh, he went near the podium. So near the podium in VIP chair. Bait here, bait here, bait here. Bait here. So VIP chair is a very comfortable chair. When he sat, he got the nap. So he went into nap. Our Dhobi sir. Then uh, Satsang went. Uh, it may, maybe went for one hour, two hours, whatever it is. As uh, um, Kalal Bhavgaru gave the time. So it went for one hour, one and a half hour and all. Uh, then somebody Satsang over. All are closing the chairs and all. Then somebody came and patted him. Then this fellow came out of the nap. He said, Bola, jaiye. Kya bola? Jaiye. Chalo, ut gaya. Ut ke phir wapas aya ghar ko. Then BV ne ask, puchha, kya hai, kya sa hua tumhara satsan? Baut badiya hai, baut achcha hai. Mayne achcha lafas suna hai. अच्छा मेरे को भूख लग रहा है खाना लगाओ तो खाना खा लिया एंड देन ही स्लेप्ट बट यू नो ही हैड स्नैप देयर सो हियर ही स्लीप अगेन दैट केम ही इज इन दैट व्हाट यू कॉल दैट अवस्था निद्रा अवस्था इन निद्रा अवस्था ही गॉट इनटू सेकंड स्टेज सपना अवस्था so in Swapna Avastha, he got all this morning, what has happened? It was reeling in his mind. So well, slowly he was murmuring, aye, baiti, aye, aye, baiti, aye, 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 like that. Then, at around 12 o'clock midnight, somebody knocked at the door. They didn't knock, some thief came. Thief came inside. Aye, aye, bola, na? To chalo. Andar gaya, andar aya wo. Aye, bola, darwada khula hai, aye, bola wo. Asami ne bola, Dhobi sahab ne bola, aayye, to andar gaya. So andar jane ka baat fir bola, baiti hai, 
अम्मा ये तो बहुत बड़ा आदमी है ये तो अच्छा आदमी है मेरे को बैठे बोला जो मैं कुछ कर सकता हूं मैं कर सकता हूं तो ठीक है बैठ गया पूरा सामान यहाँ वहां का जो भी है घर में जो भी सोना चांदी सब है वो सब ले लिया कर लिया फिर ये बोला जाइए छोड़ दीजिए मैं जाता हूँ मेरे को मत पकड़ना दरोगा को मेरे को हाथ हवाला नहीं करना देन रैन वे देन वाइफ वॉज वेरी हैप्पी टू सी हिम अरे बाबा तुम कब देखो आज एक दिन तुम सत्संग को गया तुम चोर को बाहर कर दिया तो कितना बड़ा तुम महान हो गया रोज जाओ ना रोज जाके कुछ तो सीखो ना अच्छा तुम बोलो क्या सीखा तो उन्हें बोला भाई क्या सीखा आइए भाई बैठिए जाइए दिस इज वॉट वेदांता इज सो आइए बैठिए जाइए सो थैंक यू वेरी मच दिस ए जनरल टॉक I mean, in a common parlance, the Vedanta is told like this. But Vedanta is Tattvamasi, Aham Brahma, Asmi, Pragnanam Brahma, I am Atma Brahma. So that is knowing these four words are na those three words and three words. So you should know those three words: Tattvamasi, Aham Brahma, Asmi, Pragnanam Brahma. All those things we should know. Not aye, baitiye, jaye. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot for so patiently listening to me. So. ओम असतोमा सद्गमया तमसोमा ज्योतिर्गमया मृत्योर्मा अमृतंगमय ओम शांति 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 लीड मी फ्रॉम अनरियल टू रियल लीड मी फ्रॉम डार्कनेस टू लाइट लीड मी फ्रॉम डेथ टू इमोटालिटी दिस इज फ्रॉम ब्रदर एंड उपनिषद दिस इज द शांति मंत्र थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक्स टू ऑल ऑफ यू फॉर लिसनिंग मी सो पेशेंटली द फ्लोर इज ओपन नाउ एनी इंटरेक्शन आई वेलकम एनी करेक्शंस यू सजेस्ट आई विल डेफिनेटली टेक इन टू माय हार्ट एंड आई विल Uh, try to uh, uh, get enrich knowledge myself so i am closing this presentation okay dhanyawad amlandi thank you so much you have explained uh, in a very lucid and uh, uh, very plain language uh, such a subject like vedanta has uh, so much of when i efforts are involved in this in sequencing all these stories and especially uh, explaining them in simple words thank you so much okay vivek garg gar please tell you were uh, uh, namaskar prabhu ji main can i talk ram yeah please sir i am audible okay thank yeah you. yeah you are audible sir please uh, yeah. So, the, as you said that uh, that there are four elements: that the necklace, bracelets, and the any one more is made of the gold, and all the three are uh, are the gold. All the three are gold. Yes. So, in the same way, our ego, our ahankar, our lob are a part of our own soul. Yes. Because they are they are born from this soul only. Yes, and our soul is is Om, is Paramatma. Yes. Okay. So it is made of Paramatma only means they are coming from the soul. So, yes. so why we should leave that? If as the life is going on, we should accept it. अगर अहंकार है तो अहंकार रहेगा, लोभ है तो लोभ रहेगा. तो वो जिस सही उत्पन्न हो रहा है. अगर if it is born with the soul, then why we should keep it away from our side, from our deeds or from our virtues because agar ye sari cheez hamari soul mein hi hai ye to hamare hame bhi usko bhi accept karna chahiye aap iske upar kya sochte hain uh mera khayal hai this is my personal opinion maybe i may be wrong um the ignorance is maya maya is illusion illusion or delusion whatever you call it. so unless you are out of this maya you know prakriti vikruti two things are there so one is jadam 
And one is, the other thing is the, the um, not permanent. So when you are out of this Maya, then only you know your Brahman. Otherwise, you cannot know. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, you will be roaming. That is why, you know, in the, uh, in, uh, the we have three uh, types of sadhanas. What are they? Sravanam, Mananam, Nidhityasana. Sravanam. First, you listen to your Guru. Mananam. Whatever you, this is the pro, normal, even not for Vedanta. Even in school also, we do that only. You come home and read it. Even a cow, she first takes the grass, puts it into it. Then she tries to, in the night, uh, that grass again, she gets back and again eats it. That is Mananam. And then what you have manan, what you have learned, what you have practiced, then you do preach it. Then you try to promote it. So that is nothing but Nidhi Dhyasana. It may be either meditation or through yoga. So this is the sequential form, even for human life, as far as for uh, uh, getting out of the human life. For all these things, you know, you are pervaded by Maya. So all this ego is nothing but Maya. You are this thing, you are that thing, you are no more, you are no here. All that Maya. You are a human being, that's all. You are self, you are soul. Mm. But you are different as long as you don't identify the, identify the Paramatma. Mm. This is my uh, way of thinking. So, anything? Thank you. I understand. Yes, sir. Thank you, you Gadi sir. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else? Uh, you called me? Uh, yeah, you were you are unmuted. I thought he may want to speak. No, I, I didn't understand the Mr. Gurk's question actually. That's why I wanted to ask what is his question. Gurkji, I couldn't understand your question. Can you repeat it? So my question was that that all kind of the ill virtues means like the lob, mok, uh, moha, uh, lobha, uh, our ego, ankar, all are a part are all born from our own uh, own soul. So, so they are, coming, they are coming from soul. You mean? Means as we we do. Do, do you think that they are coming from soul? Yeah. Okay. As the answer was given by the uh, Guruji, mm. it's come from the ignorance, but yes. it's originate from our own chitta. Not from soul. So, from according to you, it's ori- where from it's originate? What is the origin of that? Arjuna is from Maya, not from soul, right? Um. Okay. From the ignorance, you got the answer. Yeah, I got the answer. It means you you realize that soul is different from Maya. Uh, it's according to the Vedanta to the Advait. Um, uh, if we are the ignorant of the Brahma, then it's Maya. Yeah. Maya. So the ignorance is the generation of all these Arishad workers. Mm-hmm. Not the soul. Okay. Once you say that soul is there, soul is independent of all these things. Okay. Good. That's what I wanted to get clarification, sir. I got it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else? Okay. Thank you for the good question answer session. <clears throat> now, uh, We'll go for Prarthana and uh, National Anthem. Okay. Prarthana start chai matara? Ah, Shyam Prasad Garu. Yeah. Please okay. start Prarthana. Swasti Prajabhyam Paripalayam Tam Nyayena Madhyena Mahim Mahishta Gobramane Bhyasubhamastu Nicham Loka Samasto Sukhno Bhavantu Kale Varsatu Pajanyaha Urdhvi Sashashalini Deso yam shoparaita, Brahmana sadhne baya, Aputra putrana santu, putrana santu potranaha, Adhana sadhana santu, Jeevan to charadam chatam, 
सत्यम वद धर्म चर स्वाध्यान प्रमध सर्वे सुखि सर्वे सन्तु निरामया सर्वे भद्रा पश्यंतु मा कचि भागवे ओं शाति 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 पूर्णमद पूर्णमद पूर्णा पूर्णमुदुच्यते पूर्णश पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवावशिष्यते ओं शाति 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 सर्वे जना सुखिनो स्वस्थ धन्यवाद थैंक यू सो मच इनटेशन कार्ड बार कदा अंदर इक सरस्वती फंशन प्रभाकरा सरस्वती फंशन हालांकि Okay. Now let us go for uh, national anthem. Janagana mana adina adina yeka jaya. Oh, sorry. Devidata Punjab, Sindhu, Gujarat, Maratha, Dravid, Abut. ंग हिमाचल यमुना गंग उच्छल जल वितरंग तब शुभ नामी त्यागे तब शुभ आशीष मागे गाहे तब जय गाथा जन गण मंगल दायत जय हे भारत भाग्य विदात जय हे जय हे जय हे जय 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 हे जय हिंद जय हिंद जय श्री राम जय श्री राम Okay thank you